Hi, welcome to Gula Studio. This is where I work and this is all my guitar that I've been building since two years ago, maybe like 2019. February 2019, I started scratching and learning how to make each guitar. So I make two bass and several guitar, which already sent to the client and so on. But today I want to talk about my latest builder, which is I built uh, last year in December 2021. This is a uh, special made for to Toro's incorporation. It's an automobile uh, service in San Bernardino for Bro Akam. He wants a five string bass with epoxy river and then special body custom, which is, uh, feel pretty good. So the front and uh, it has pickup in the front in the neck and bridge. He has his own control for volume and tone. For the bridge, you switch it down. Same thing, volume and control. And if you want to both, uh, neck and bridge, you put in center, but if you just want to play in bass uh, for the neck sound, you switch it up. So this is it. Um, I built special with a special design on the each dots of each key uh, with the um, gear to represent automobile. So on the back side, uh, here it is. Also have the epoxy cover. This is one, consider one piece of wood. It's, it comes from the neck, neck through, but the body is this much. And then I put some right wing, which is from here to there. So the sound should be very well, it's all mahogany with the rosewood and um, fretboard. I'm using the standard Fender frets, which one of the Phil Collins bass using this type. He even used the banjo, he wants it so, so low and then he likes that. So anyway, so from now on, I am trying to have a video of each guitar that I made, whichever I have the video of. So enjoy the rest of the video, how I make the video. Some I have a comment and some don't. So thank you for watching. See you next time. So I start working with this project on November 30th, 2021. Here's our the scratch design with the spec for the Toro Bass 5 string. This is basically two pieces of wood the whole neck through the body and then I'm just adding the lower part of the body with the same kind of wood with mahogany. So after the final design I glue the wood together. It takes 24 hours to the glue to cure and here's our the process of gluing it together. The client want a river on the center of the instrument. So I make a routing for the green river in the middle of the body. As you can see, it's like a half inch thick with a special drilling so the acoustic sound will be there. The unique part about the epoxy is it turns, you want it to go this way and that way, but the epoxy finds its way on making its own pattern. This is like a few hours after being poor. So here's the pattern that I want to achieve, but at the end, the epoxy finds its own way and making its own pattern. So this is for the back side of the piece. Here's our 24 hours later. It's finally cured and dry. And then the process next is I start carving rough carve, carve of the body. As you can see here.
and then I start sending it slowly with 2020 grid send and here's our the body rough cut the next process is gluing the fretboard into the body before I final send the neck Again, the fretboard, gluing the fretboard need to take 24 hours to cure. Here's our after 24 hours later. I chose this special of a fretboard for this design. Here's our the 24 hours later. The idea design is for an automobile service, so the theme is like an automobile, so I'm adding special effect on the fretboard by adding all this small gear into the fretboard. After drilling it, then we put the clear epoxy to let them stick and then let it cure for a few hours and then start sanding it again. Here it is, a few hours later, ready to be sent. Here's our after the final send. And I let it air dry for a few hours before I begin to stain the body. This is from the back side with the cavity on the back. Here's uh, the next is inspection by Jojo, second build. The first one, she watched me build the guitar and then this is the second project. Here's the first tobacco dye. I go with the very light tobacco color and then adding the second one, medium dark tobacco. And then I add one more layer of tobacco stain with the edge using a black stain to match the fretboard. So after letting it dry for another 24 hours, I fill them up with the clear wood filler and then send it down. I think I we, we they recommend it like two or three times using the wood filler to make the wood grain smooth. Here's our final after the wood filler. Then finally, the following day, 24 hours later, I spray the first coat of the 2K clear coat, front and back. And then this is the second coat. They recommend not more than three coats, so this is second coat. And then I think I spray another one coat on top of that. Then and finally, I put the uh, client store Toro's um, logo on the headstock. And finally, after that, it cured for another 24 hours. All this hardware. Start all the hardware from the bridge, pickup, and of course the tuning machine. My shaman was done. Just to protect the hard work. All right. This is 
very recommended this hand tight screw. Whoops, what is that? But well, I don't know how much power with this screw. The five screw angle in anyway. there. Seems to be coming up the building. And this one special from David Ellison. If you play with both sides, neck and bridge, some very fully cool. base and then if you use the bridge part, it's good for heavy metal and so on. So this base is really good for all kind of music. What I like about the MG pickup is a solderless. That means everything is push and plug, so it's all clean. It has a very clean sound also, so that's what's good about the MG pickups. Pickup install, MG40 DC and CS. Pickup install, MG40 CS, 40 DC. Tuner SN, one by one. So the both pickup install and then all the cabling I make special for those using the epoxy cover.
back. Nice. From here is heaven. Can't wait to test the sound and so on. So here's our final product. And usual, I took them outside for a photo shoot. Here's the Toros five string bass, special custom made by me, by Gula.